In this video, we are going to discuss about Panda series, why pandas are used in Python, and what are the several functions which are there or attributes which are there in pandas. So pandas are mostly for data analysis and provides tool for data manipulation. That means to reshape a data, merge, sort, slice, and aggregation. It also allows handling of missing data, that is missing values in panda, which we will discuss in our upcoming videos. So pandas in Python stands for it is a Python package and it deals mostly with series that is 1D homogeneous array and data frame that is two labeled heterogeneous array. Also it has a panel that is general 3D array. Now here listed are some popular attributes along with their description. D type is an attribute that is data type value in series. It determines that what type of data is given inside that particular series. And firstly we are going to discuss about series only. Empty returns true if the series is empty. Size return the number of elements, the how many elements are there in the panda series. Values returns values as an ND array. That means it changes to ND array. That means the NumPy array. Head function or this attributes first n elements it returns. Now you can pass the parameters in the parenthesis. By default, if you are not passing any parameter, then it returns five top values. Whereas tail returns the bottom five values which are there and if you are passing the parameter here then it will return according to that values only. Now let us see that how can we create a pandas library and pandas library is built on top of numpy that means pandas needs numpy to operate. So firstly let us see that how can we create a numpy array so that we have also seen when we're discussing about numpy that data is equals to np and then you just print that data so it returns. Now how can we change this particular numpy array into the panda series so for that we write here a variable ser pd dot series this particular data is passed and then print that series so the data did change and it is actually done indexing with all the elements that is 0 g 1 for o 2 for e so indexing is done for each and every element so let us execute this code and see how can we create a numpy array to a panda series so here firstly what we need to do is we have to import a few things such as import pandas as pd and import numpy as np. Next what we are going to do is we are going to create a simple numpy array that and then we are going to pass it in data np dot array And now I'm going to pass the letters which we have seen in the example of GoEdu Hub. So G O These are the values which we have passed in this particular array and then we're going to print this data. Now as I execute this particular cell, you can see that an array is printed having all the letters. Now if I want to change that means the data type and the object here is object and I want to change it to the panda series then how can I do that so I have to simply write I create a variable ser and then I have to change it and I have to write here pd dot series and I have to pass the data which was there and then print series when I execute the cell here you can see that it is the panda series and each letter is initialized with an index number also that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you can also print the d type which is there that is object and if you want to then you can check here the type of this is panda score series that means this actually is a 
series so that is there it is converted into a pandas series next if we want to generate a series of random numbers and give index according to us previously we have seen that the index is given as 0 1 2 3 4 numeric index but if i want to give an index of my own then how can i do that so if i initialize a series s1 here and write pd dot series and i want to generate the random number values also so i will write here np dot random and uh, first five numbers i just want to generate only five numbers and i want to give the index also so index equals to i want to give the index as a b c d and e this is the index which i want to give and next i want to print the series that is s1 so print s1 and here you can see that it is displaying index that we have given a b c d e and five random values are generated and d type here is float 64 why because it is of the numbers which are generated are floating point values next we want to create a series from dictionary that is a type of dictionary we want to make and then print it in panda series so how can we do that simply what we have to do is we have to write i am creating a variable named data equals to and dictionary we know that we use curly braces and it is a key value pair thing so firstly for pi let's say i want to display the value as 3.14 and uh, for exponential we're creating again a variable e a key e and that is going to print 2.71 so these are the values now it is a dictionary okay so firstly when i will print the data it will get printed in form of dictionary now i want to convert this so how can i do that i will create a variable s3 and what it is going to do simply i'm going to write here pd dot series and then i'm going to write here data and i'm going to print the s3 when i execute this particular cell here you can see that firstly it is shown in form of a dictionary and then it is shown as panda series and data type is float obviously because the values of pi and exponential i have given as floating point values next example is if we want to see that how elements are returned in panda series that are many ways to slide uh, slicing is done but how can we do that in panda series particularly so let us write a code about that firstly what we're going to do we're going to generate random numbers and uh, five numbers which will be generated and then we will check for returning of the any of element of the index so that can be very simply done let's see how we're creating a series s1 and that is having pd dot series and next it is also going to generate np dot random of five numbers next firstly we're going to print this series that is s1 and next what we're going to do is we're going to firstly return the fourth element so the index which we will give is three so s1 three now as you execute this particular cell here you can see that at the three there is this particular number so firstly the whole series is printed and then at the third index number is present that is return now if you want to check for first two elements which are there in the series then how can you do that you have to simply write s1 keep this first as blank and just print here two so this will be exclusive and it will start from zero once first two elements will get printed so these are the first two elements which are there similarly if you want to view the index value then how can you do that how can you view for index values so you have to simply write print s1 dot index 
So the index actually starts from 0, stops at 5 and it has a step of 1. One step each it is counting. So that is for the index value which is there. Next, series can be used as an, an NP array also. That is a NumPy array. And how can we do that? For example, we print a median and we check that median. So let us write here print median. And it is going to fetch us s1 dot median and numpy function can be used on series as usual so what we have to write here as s1 then it is going to check for s1 greater than median it returns the median for s1 and then again comparing the median s1 dot median which we have checked that is the second and the fourth value it is turning us next convert a series into an array how can we do that so for that we simply use values for example this is the array which we have or series and we can write here simply values when i do that it returns me the array instead of the series so it is particularly a panda series and this is an array so we have to simply use the function or the attribute dot values for doing that next we can also uh, add particular elements and pandas series unlike nd array automatically align the data based on the label so how can you do that as for example you create another s4 series and that is storing the range of element of panda series till 6 series and you give a range so that is of positive values 6 Next, what you're going to do? You're going to print the S5 first. And then we have to check with the elements that what are the individual elements which are there in the series. So we're going to add those two particular series. So how can we do that? We have to simply write two print statements. It is firstly the S5 beginning and ending with minus one and it is starting with one. And then we're going to add both the series like this print s5 s1 and print s5 1 and lastly we're going to add both the series that is s5 1 plus s5 execute this particular block you can see that it is firstly printing the series which range 6 which we have given that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 then it is printing that a series only s5 which we have given in the first statement and then it is printing minus 1 that is traversing from the back side so it eliminates 0 and it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 these are the two elements which are there and now it is doing the addition of both the elements. So when these two elements, these particular two series are added, the first column and the last column leaves to be blank. So that's why it is returning NAN. NAN stands for not a number. It is used to specify the missing values in pandas and we will discuss about uh, missing values in pandas and how can we operate with that in our upcoming video.